Uh, so like it, like here's the big problem. Like the reason you're not going to be able to go, like all the stuff I've talked about is great, right? And you're really excited now. You're not going to be able to do it. Sorry, <laughs> right? So the reason you can't do it is because the network we have, like we front page on Dig at around 85%, right? So uh, the reason we're able to do that is because we have like a really strong network in place. Uh, we do really well on Reddit, Stumble. Like those, we use social news as our diving off points. You don't have that network in place, and if you try to build it out, you're probably going to fail for a while. Um, so the average person <laughs> isn't going to be able to do it as much. It depends on your site, too. Like if you work for some huge publishing site, you might be able to build up a, a portfolio pretty quickly because you're able to jump piggyback on the authority of that domain, right? Um, but especially for the casino space, I mean, you're looking at, you're, you're looking at some hard times if you try to dive into this. So while this is an awesome way to build links, it, <laughs> it's, really, it's really difficult as well. So. Hi Dave, thank you for your, your presentation. Um, I, I was wondering um, uh, if you do a viral and uh, you gain like thousand links, what happens to your uh, natural link profile? Okay, so I actually was talking with this uh, with Nailer yesterday, and we were saying, you know, like there's this uh, spike in links, right? That happened. Like all of a sudden, you might have 30 links, and now you have a thousand 30 links, right? But what what Google can do right now is they can look back and say, where did this thousand links come from? Um, and say, okay, well, it came from this viral piece. And since it's an approved way to build links by Google, you're fine, right? Um, now, one theory that we were talking about that Nailer has is that eventually they're going to try to, uh, to level the links across time. And that's why, in my opinion, it's important not to just do these kind of viral pushes on a site where you have uh, your uh, poker leads or whatever coming through, build out a separate site where you can keep this traffic and keep this as a long, this is a long-term strategy. This isn't like, hey, let's go do this once and get this done. This is something you need to keep going at over a long period of time. So that way you're making sure that it's looking natural as you go. Now, the really great thing about social is that it builds a, a natural link portfolio. You're going to have really crappy social links in there and then all the way to really high quality links. So like one of the pushes we did on our own site, you know, we had all our social links and we also got a link from Gizmodo on there as well. Um, and then another piece we did, we got a link from the BBC and the Insider, which are PR9 sites. And then we also had a bunch of like Stumble and uh, friend feed links. And so what's great about that, it's a, it builds a natural link portfolio all at one time for you right off the bat. And so what we'll do a lot of times when we launch new sites is just do a social push on it right away. And now you have, you know, a nice link portfolio. We've actually seen, I think, as updates come out, like PR4, PR5, like off the bat, just because it looks so quality. Now, you know, those numbers don't really mean much to me. But if you're using that as a metric of quality, then, you know. Thanks. OK, top three tips to finish it off. What are your top three tips for anyone uh, trying to do okay, this besides so one, hire you? Yeah, the one place that you can really be effective right now is StumbleUpon. Um, StumbleUpon takes a power account, and the way to build a power account right now is uh, start actually going in the community and stumbling quality work that, or discovering quality work that isn't your own, right? Um, try to work within one area. So let's say you're into sports, like only work within sports, and then also review other people's profiles and review their content. And if you do that over a period of time, like let's say you spend an hour a day on that, you'll do really well. Um, another thing is Yahoo Answers. Uh, Chris Winfield's a big proponent of Yahoo Answers, a friend of mine. He, uh, you know, he says if you're a small business and you're trying to get in the space, um, so let's say you, you're running a sports affiliate, like sports book affiliate, you know, go into Yahoo Sports, answer questions, and then you're able to build up an actual, you know, following it. Then you can then like post links or whatever you want to do. So is Google ranking your all your posts in Yahoo Answers? Um, yeah, they will, like for long term. But like, what you're really looking to do there is the more the conversational side of the marketing, where you can actually get players coming in. Um, and then right now as well, I think a really great place to be is on Twitter. Um, it's kind of hard for people to figure out how to utilize that sometimes. But the great thing about Twitter is you can actually make money on it right now. Uh, people are actually generating revenue, whereas of a lot of other social media sites, people aren't generating revenue. So for the viral side, again, StumbleUpon is a good place to look. Um, for you know, viral slash user, inter user interaction, Yahoo Answers, and the same thing for Twitter.com as well. By show of hands, is anyone here active on Yahoo Answers? Just Bob? You're active on Yahoo Answers as well, somewhat. Interesting. I'd 
something that, something I didn't really think about, but fantastic. Dave, that was really good. One of the best presentations I've seen on social media, and we do these all the time. So well done. Thanks very much.